Hello there, my name is Dr Gemma Newman and I'm a GP based in West London. Today I'd like to give you a few great tips to improve your general health and prevent a variety of problems. So this video is for those of you who want to prevent varicose veins. What are varicose veins? Varicose veins are gnarly dilated blood vessels, usually in the legs. And why do they happen? Well, your veins bring um, deoxygenated blood back from the peripheries to the centre of your body and they use valves to help prevent backflow of blood. But when these valves are inefficient or not working correctly, then blood can start pooling in these veins in your legs and create these uh, nasty enlarged vessels. Another kind of varicose vein is what we call spider veins and these are prominent small blue veins directly underneath the skin. So what can we do to try and prevent these? Well, unfortunately, varicose veins do have a genetic component to them, and they're also dependent on your age, environmental factors, and also your hormones. But there are a few things that you can try to prevent, or at least reduce your risk. Now, in terms of spider veins, people with a fair skin complexion are more likely to get these on their face if they have a lot of sun damage. So if you want to try and avoid them in this area, it's best to try to limit your exposure to the sun. Um, another thing that you could try for uh, varicose veins themselves is try to avoid prolonged standing. If your job involves a lot of standing um, without moving your legs, then it's worth trying to walk around every half an hour or so just to get the circulation going in your legs. Uh, a good posture is also important. And some people say that if you avoid crossing your legs, then that also helps to improve the circulation in your lower legs as well. Exercise. What about exercise? That's really important for helping to reduce your risk of varicose veins. Not only because it reduces the uh, blood pressure, which helps to reduce pressure on the veins, but it also improves your circulation. Maintaining a healthy weight is going to be really important, again, because it reduces the stress and the backflow on your veins. However, if you were overweight and you have lost weight, you may notice that underlying varicose veins become a bit more prominent, where the fatty tissue was covering them up. Constipation. Now, believe it or not, if you're constipated and you're straining to go to the loo all the time, this is another thing that will uh, make you more likely to get varicose veins. So make sure you've got a nice, healthy digestive system and your bowels are opening regularly. So as well as the advice to maintain a good posture and also to prevent prolonged standing without moving your legs, uh, another tip would be to try to elevate your legs when you're resting. So rather than uh, kneeling on your feet or anything like that, you could try lying down flat with your feet up. Um, drugs can also play a part in the development of varicose veins, specifically uh, the combined contraceptive pill or hormone replacement therapy. And I would say that if you are developing varicose veins, it's worth avoiding these hormonal treatments. So, as I said before, although you can't necessarily prevent varicose veins because they're often out of your control, then these are a few tips which I hope will at least minimise your risk.